Time shift complete. Permission to come aboard? Yeah, I mean, you can come aboard. It's fine. I'd be granted. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Daniel says docked in Shuttle Bay 1, Admiral. Sensors indicate that Lyria Prime is transdimensional state, transitional state, not transdimensional. That's something entirely different. Between classes L and M. Great. Caldano is stationed here at a Daystrom Institute research facility. The Vorgans may already have what they came for. Bring us into scanning range. We need to find out. Okay, I, I was going to say something, but you interrupted me and I forgot. Anyway. <clears throat> He's a brilliant a... scientist who uh... recently completed work on a quantum phase inhibitor known as the Tox Utat. While it was designed for peaceful purposes, the Tox Utat could be a powerful weapon in the wrong hands. Hands like those of the Vorgons. Cool, cool. Can I say my intro now? Thanks. How's it going, everyone? Nice M45 here with some more Star Trek Online. Okay, so <laughs> just a just a quick little explanation. We're playing Vorgon Conclusions today, the third, at uh, uh, the second episode in <laughs> the Yesterday's War story arc. So let me just explain something quickly. This is not the first time I've played this mission. In fact, I already played this mission earlier this week and recorded it. And then I screwed up my audio. And so now we're playing it again. So, continue, Daniels. Oh, so now you're not going to... Okay, now you're not going to interrupt me. So, anyway. Um, we're also playing as Charlie today. I thought to myself, you know, I haven't played as Charlie in, like, probably a year now. <laughs> like, on video. So I'm like, yeah, I might as well. Anyway. Preliminary scans are clear. No signs of Caldano or the Toxuthod on the Vorgon ship. It looks like they are a yellow alert. They are ready for trouble, Admiral. Some Vorgons may be on the planet pursuing Caldano. It's highly likely the Vorgons are at Cal Dano's research facility trying to get what they want. I'll take point on this one. I need you to keep an eye on that Vorgon ship and its crew. They might send reinforcements or open fire from orbit. Right, sure. So, we're just sending you down and you alone? Sorry, I scratched your paint there. <clears throat> okay, have fun, Daniel. Anyway. The Vorgons are bringing their combat systems online. Well, that was fast. The Vorgons have cornered Caldano. Engaging them now. Okay, you have fun down there. I'm gonna have fun up here. So, <clears throat> hey, hold still. So yeah, I, fit, I thought to myself, I haven't played as Charlie in so freaking long. I'm like, you know what? Let's mix it up a little bit. Like, I haven't really changed anything on him since I, uh... Oh! Dang, that thing did 20,000 damage through a shield. I did not... That thing's not supposed to do that much. It does... It's only supposed to do 10k. I guess that was a critical or something. Wow. The amount of criticals I just saw on yeah, there well, that was amazing. Uh, are, you, are you done, Danny? I'm done up here. Gee, that was specifically oddly timed. Gee. Hmm. Okay. This is Patrick. Commander of the VSV Oberel, you are interfering with the private matter that does not concern you. Identify yourself. Hello, Patrick. This is SpongeBob. My name is Azure. Baratus and I pursue a researcher named Caldano, and have been for some time. He has created a weapon of mass destruction, a very valuable weapon. The Tox Uthat and its maker will be ours. Our reinforcements are en route. You should not have interfered. You really think I'm going to be scared of some starfish? I'm not. Caldano's safe. For now. We're ready to beam up. Okay, that was fine. I mean, you got to have a little adventure all on your own. Hey, friends! Okay. You got to have a little adventure all on your own there, Danny. I didn't get to, I didn't get to partake in any of that. I mean, I had my own little adventure up here, I guess, but it wasn't near as fun. Will you pl- Thank you. I hate tractor probes. Oh, so we can just freely murder them. Okay, that's cool. I mean, you know, I, I was going to do that anyway without really considering the ramifications of altering the timeline, but, you know, that's fine. So. Caldano must fulfill his personal destiny. I've given him my time ship to do so. Please clear it for launch. Trust me on this. I can always get another ship. Well, I'm sure you can. That's what it's called a time ship for. You just go back to, like, two minutes before you give it to him, and then you get that one, and then you go in time, and then you come back to the time that you gave it to, to him, and they're like, boom. Escape. The ship's like 50 years older, but it, to him it's like 2 minutes, or like 20 seconds. Depends on how accurate you are on the timeline. Keep the busy a bit okay, I- wow, I'm stuck. 
<laughs> they're using a tractor probe on me and the tractor repulsors on me at the same time. That's interesting. I want to see if this does 20,000 damage again, because I'm curious. It's going to go away any moment now. And at that time, it didn't do any damage. What the heck? Okay, good for good for Dano, Dano. I don't know, potato, potato, same thing. Dano, Dano, tomato, tomato. I'm running out of material for my commentary, and we're only about five this minutes in. This is a temporary setback. Your interference will not keep us from Cal Dano or the Toxu Dot. History can be changed, as you will see. The Arborel just engaged a temporal drive. They're gone. The Borgons know a lot about the Toxu Tot and its history. They'll want to reach a pivotal point in its timeline. Uh-huh. When would that be? There. I have them. Reading a new temporal ripple. In the year 2152. Unfortunately, I can't ask Captain Archer to get involved in this one. So, if you don't mind. Well, I mean, we, we don't really have a in. choice now, Ready do we? When you are. I mean, like, you know, the whole fate of the galaxy depends on us rescuing a thing called Toxu Thought. Sounds like a dish or something, I don't know. NGC162, not sure what that is. Is that a system? Sounds like a planet system. Admiral picking up several ships on long-range sensors. A Dakir Vulcan cruiser and the Enterprise both appear to be disabled. I'm also reading Tholian and Sulaban signatures. Looks like they're on fight going on. Uh, scanning sig Borgon signatures detected. I'm sorry, I did not mean to say that. Starfish signatures detected, and it's a it's it's it's, it's the a barrel. It's the a barrel. Yes, they're running long-range scans as well. No doubt, looking for their prize. All right, so let's go. Okay, we, we already warped in, but um, that's, that's cool. We can warp in again. I don't mind. I like the temporal warping signature. The, 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 the way it looks when you warp in from a time vortex. It looks cool. It's like watching party hoppers. The time ship, or, or what's left of it, is currently on Enterprise along with the body of Cal Dano. Dang it, Cal, I told you not to die in the last time I recorded this. Darn it, that joke didn't make any sense now. He wound up here after a temporal incident that ended his long life and career. The Vorgons don't know this, however. We can't let them endanger Enterprise or her crew. Also, we should stay out of Enterprise's sensor range. They haven't detected us yet, but let's not tempt fate. Got it. We will stay away from Captain Archer because of legal reasons that we don't have the rights to in this game yet. History okay. History shows you have a habit of meddling in the affairs of others. Tell me about it. I have three years of meddling in other people's affairs in this game on my channel. We believe it is time to break you of that habit. No, I'm good. Why was my ship... That was weird. Hey, a barrel! I really like that ability, by the way. It's the uh, the launch subspace rupture. There it goes. Um, it essentially just stops everything and it tracks when it uh, when it activates. It's really nice. I've actually used it before. Yeah, I've used it before um, on uh, on this character before when I was fighting Fight Monster in a PvP session. Oh, geez, that was over a year ago now, wasn't it? Uh, I've, I lose track of the time when it comes to uh, my videos, like, how long ago, okay, can I, okay, that's, that's fine, I was about to pop tactical team, but you died, but that works too, thank you, thank you for dying, I appreciate it. We've disabled the barrel, but they are repairing systems quickly, reading multiple incoming temporal warp signatures, no, deprive them of their wood, we can't let them repair the barrel. Please kill the tractor probe. I hate tractor probes. I hate them so very much. Thank you for killing the tractor probe.
So the Tholians have the Tox Uthot now, or at least the Temporal Shuttle. Neither of which of those things I think is very good. Oh, they're, they're coming to us now. Great. I'm sorry, I did not. I'm sorry. Can you repeat yourself? I didn't get to hear it the first time. Unidentified vessels. You are temporal anomalies. You do not belong. Your chronicon signature matches a vessel we seek. We won't know why. Submit to investigation, or you will be purged. Tholian Captain. We are not aligned with these interlopers. In fact, we would be happy to ally with you against them. Yeah, screw you too. The Lion's proposal refused. You are anomalous. They are anomalous. You will all be purged. Okay, well, th that didn't work. I tried my best. Hey, look what abilities recharged. <laughs> I really do like that ability. It's a cool ability. I think you can get the console itself on the exchange right now. Um, heck, I have no idea how, how much it uh, goes for right now. Last I saw it went for like... Eh, 3 million? 3 million? Maybe 13 million. I don't know. It's been long. I don't keep track of these things. Also, I'm going to activate this just because I can't. Okay, bye, barrel! Yeah, yeah, I, I see the barrel is escaping, Daniels. Thank you. Hold on, I just need to squash the rest of these spiders. Two more spiders. One more spider. Okay, all the spiders are dead now. So, where did the starfish go? I'm sorry. Yeah, the starfish in the barrel. Where did they go? There's a Vulcan rescue team on its way to aid the Dakir. We should leave before they arrive and ask questions we're not prepared to answer. Okay, I, yeah, I'm, that's fine. I can't explain Scanning temporal for the stuff anymore. Anyway. Ah, of course. They're heading to the Risa system in 2366. The Toxutat was buried there, and it's about to be discovered by Jean-Luc Picard. Cool, we're going to Risa. That's the official record, yes. Truth is, Captain Picard realized the scientific value of the Toxutat and faked its destruction to fool the Borgons. It worked. Until now. I'm reading a new disturbance. Soul System 2375. They know where it is. Course locked in. Are you ready for transit? No, I don't want to go to Earth. I play Star Trek Online. The whole point of it is not being on Earth. I mean, except when you're at the Academy, at which point, you know, you kind of have to be on Earth. Because continuity. That's a good reason. Like, I, I can get behind that, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't really think what I'm saying through. I'm not thinking what I'm saying right now, even. I'm picking up multiple hostiles. Breen Fleet Circa 2375. We're in the Breen attack on Earth during the Dominion War. Oh, man, Top I love that Tot episode. Is here, in a high-security vault under Starfleet command. I assume the Vorgons are taking advantage of the chaos and the heavy damage to infiltrate the security facility and steal the Toxu Top. Yeah, pity Captain Card's Rouge didn't last. It held up for quite some time. I suspect our Vorgon friends are getting some help. History shows them giving up the hunt after their failure at Risa. Okay, well, regardless, they're here now. The Breen vessels are in your step course. It's just a chill grad. I mean, it's not that powerful of a ship. For crying out loud, I got that during winter event in... Uh, 2014? Was that 2014? Or... No. No. Yes? No, no, that was 2000, jeez, that was 2012, I think, because last year, last year was the uh, Ferengi ship, right? It was the, uh, no, what am I talking about? The Ferengi ship was the Ryza event, no. Chel the Chelgret was the first green ship that we ever got from the winter event. Right, we do winter event, winter event is are the green ships. The other, the other ship is from the Rise event. So, Chell Gret, uh, that may have been 2000, er, no, that had to be, yeah, it had to be 2012, because the plush brack, the, the little one that I don't see anyone ever use anymore, is the, uh, second one, and then the big pointy one, not that one. 
but the big pointy one that's like their capital ship now, uh, that was the one for 2014, yes, and then the big, like, the one that looks like a giant hand with a claw, <laughs> That one, that one was last year's. That one was last year's. Yeah, that was the... Oh, man. Actually, what am I talking about? I have them all right here. Yeah, yeah, we're fighting a Breen. Who cares? Um, maintenance. It was a... Yes, I have a lot of Admiralty ships. Don't judge me. Anyway. Um, it was a... Where is it? It was the Breen Resreth. Resreth. That was the ship we got last year, so... I really like this episode of uh, of DS9 actually. When the, when the Breen were attacking Earth, that was starting. I always liked DS9 purely for the fact that they had a lot of cool epic space battles, which not a lot of the other series really had. I mean, yeah, there were there were space fights and stuff, but not on the scale that this was. You know, not on the scale of like hundreds of ships. You know, I, I always appreciated that about the Dominion War and DS9. But they had so many ships. It actually felt like an actual space battle, which we don't see too often in Star Trek. Granted, it's been so long since I saw him that. Yes, you exploded. whoop de doodle do for you. Anyway, we're going to go beam Let's down to Earth now. Let's take advantage of this lull in the battle to beam down, while we still can. Are you ready to beam down to Starfleet HQ? Yes, let's go. Okay, we've arrived at Starfleet Headquarters, circa 2375. You've said that up up, up in space. Okay. The Breen invasion is in full swing. Based on the Tricorder rings, the Breen are scattered throughout the facility. We will need to make our way through to the high security areas and narrow down our search there. Okay, let's... You know, Daniel, you got really close to me like this when we started the last time I recorded this when I screwed up my audio. Don't get my way again. Anyway, let's go. I always like the DS9 uniforms, too. Hey, let's do something completely crazy and call down an orbital strike in the middle of... Hold it. Uh, yeah. Orbital strike in the middle of the building! <laughs> Did I forget to mention just how far underground we are? Oh! Dang, 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 dang! And that is what happens when I start making stupid jokes instead of paying attention to what I'm actually doing. You know, I don't honestly like playing on ground missions as Charlie that much. I don't know why. I mean, I like playing... Where did... Who died? Someone died, and I don't know who it is. Azela. Azela, where are you? Where did you die? Azela. Uh, how, how the heck did you get back here? Anyway. Um, I'm going to actually start using this little weapon right now. This little weapon is a... Disruptor stun pistol from uh, the last episode of Yesterday's War, which is uh, the core of the matter. So uh, it's a it's a cool little gun. Yes, it's pretty neat looking. It's really annoying when it uh, when it fires. The sound's really bad. Oh, but thank God you're not Breen. Do we look like Breen? This is a nightmare. Really? I think they're heading to the vault left of my research team grabbed phasers from a security station and decided to hold the line against Breen soldiers complete utter insanity please help them okay we'll do our best I mean we will probably be just fine you just stay there you just stay where the heck is my team Azela okay Azela I'm gonna help you I'm gonna help you get through the door okay go over here okay then you come over here no, oh, you you almost got it. Just want a couple more steps, just, just a little bit more, a little bit more. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, you want to stay behind? You can you okay? You guard you guard that area, Zilla. Yeah, you do a good job. Okay, I hire idiots for my team. This uh this pistol, you know it's it's it has a really annoying sound. I'll admit that, and doesn't do a whole lot of damage. But the thing is, I don't actually mind it because okay, actually I am minding this a little. It's okay. Yeah, we're going back to a pulse wave. Can I have my secondary fire down? Thank you. Okay, what is that? What is this thing? Thanks for the assist. I don't know if you Anything saw it there, but there was this. With? Shut up. There was a thing right over here that was a second ago that was partially invisible. I don't know what that was. I've seen it before lately. I don't know what it was. That's the news. I don't care about the news. Hey. Thanks for the help. The Breen thought Starfleet scientists couldn't fight. As you can see, they were greatly mistaken. 
You might want to tell the guy outside. Also, you have something on your face. Might want to get that checked. Funny you should mention that. We have. One of my team picked up two Vorgon life signs in the vault on local sensors just before the Breen came to call. I notified security for all the good that did. Let me buzz you in. Main access is over here. Cool. Thanks. Please take us to the main access. Yeah, I'm not I'm not liking this pistol now. I I I, I retract my statement from earlier. Yeah, you might want to have this door looked at. <laughs> Damn. This thing's a total loss. I can open up secondary access for you, but you should know the bringing made it in there. Could be rough going. Nah, it'll probably just be a little chilly. Besides, I like the cold. I hate summer. Like, I hate it so hot. I mean, I like Ryza, don't get me wrong. I like Ryza a lot, but, like, this door was open the entire time. You didn't have to do anything. Jeez. Okay, all of my team is still with me. I guess Azilla is still on her own, so. Do you want, would you like an orbital strike? And, uh, one of these? And a couple of those. How about that? Sound good? If you're wondering why my orbital strike is following him, by the way, I have the orbital chaser trait. Or, or no, it's called orbit. That thing! What the heck is this thing? The heck is this? Subspace. What the heck? Subspace anesthesia. Hey, devs! I got a new bug for you! <laughs> okay, let's continue on. Wow. Okay, okay, this is not this way. Uh, subspace Anis. Seriously, is that what that is? Uh, Victor, Victor, hold still. Place one of these down. Holy crud. Oh my freaking word. <laughs> Okay, someone changed the model for that, apparently. <laughs> you know, it's sometimes when this, uh... Oh. It's sometimes when this game... Uh, I screwed this up. I, I, I had it, though. What? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you go back? Oh, it's green, blue. I somehow switched green and blue. Wow. Um, I love it when this game bugs out in certain ways that it just makes you go, like, What the heck? How? You know, I understand things like Taylor glitches or objects not showing up or something like that. But something like that with the anesthesia minus, like, how the heck did you change an object in the code? That makes zero sense. I have brought you this far, and you still will not join me? No, Envoy. Your war with the Federation doesn't concern us. Only the Tox Uthat matters, nothing else. We are not alone in that pursuit, as you can see. These must be the meddlers you spoke of, Boratus. Kill them quickly. So we need to we need to kill Patrick and Patrick number two. Okay. So Danny, Danny, how did you get hurt? Whatever, I don't care. Anyway, so uh, let's uh, let's get some reinforcements in here, and uh, we're just gonna call down this little orbital strike. I'm gonna set this down. I'm also gonna set some mines down here. Um, okay, that's a grenade that I can't move away from. I am rooted. That's okay. That was nice. Okay, I just got my butt handed to me. That's nice. Okay, we'll, we'll, ki we'll kill Patrick number two. No, get away from the fart grenade. Seriously, I want I want fart grenades. Those are those are like the most powerful things I've ever seen in this game, and I'm about to die. Thank you, Azila, for joining us again. By the way. No fart grenade. The fart grenades. My word. We we were so close. 
Azure. No. No! Envoy! Show yourself! Having trouble, are we? You see now the depths our foes will go to, Boratus. Join me, and you'll have your revenge. I swear it. Very well. I will follow your lead, Envoy. For vengeance! Vengeance, indeed. Well, my whole team is dead, except for me. So, Danny, you don't look good. I'll, I'll be fine. We need to focus. Find the Taksuta. I'm afraid that's need to know information. And right now, you don't need to know. I'm, I'm sorry. But there are things bigger than this to worry about. Okay, have it your way. I mean, kind of looks like you put your face onto uh, one of those machines that are at hotels that make waffles. But, uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna search for this. Okay, we found it. Cool. Um, you know, I I don't remember. Was, was him, like, getting older or something or other? part of the the series in the TV show back on Enterprise. I watched all of Enterprise, but I, I from the episodes that had Daniels in it, I do not remember that ever happening. Like, I'm sure it did, but I don't remember why it happened. Okay, we found a Taksutha quantum phase inhibitor designed by Cal Dano in the 27th century. After covering the artifact, John Luke Card and Library Employed an elaborate ruse to deceive who would be treasure hunters. See transporter code 14. As a result, the galaxy at large believes Daksu Uthop was destroyed. Cool. Okay, yeah, Victor is talking to us from beyond the grave. Anyway, Admiral, it looks like the Breen are withdrawing from Earth. We can beam you up back safely to the ship now. I mean, you could have done that either way if they weren't still on Earth, but, you know, that's fine too. I won't question your decisions. <laughs> and that was Vorgon Conclusions, everyone. That was the second mission in the uh, Yesterday's War story arc. Uh, it, I think that was a pretty good mission. I, I don't really know why we were fighting against Patrick or why he wanted a time machine. But, I mean, any of us could use a time machine. So, I mean, it's not really that far-fetched of an idea. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.